Hello right, everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Now in today's video, we're going to be going for a POV drive in this Ford Fiesta 1 litre EcoBoost. And I'm going to be letting you guys know there's different statistics on it, what it's like to drive, and why it's such a good first car for any of you learners, or why it's just a good car in general. I'm also going to be going through the good and the bad points about this car. Some things I don't like, some things I do like. But yeah, without further ado, let's get the car on and let's go for a drive. Okay, so as you can see, we are now underway, and uh, yeah, I'm going to be going through some of the different statistics that you guys may be interested in if you were going to buy one of these cars. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get underway. O'Neill. Okay, so the car that we are in today is a 1 litre EcoBoost. Now, you've got two types of 1 litre EcoBoost. You have one with a turbo, which produces about 122 horsepower, or you have the one that we're in today, which produces 99 horsepower. Now, you may be thinking 99 horsepower, that is barely anything and you're not going to be able to move. But trust me when I say this, this car does not feel slow. Like, it genuinely doesn't. It's so nippy for going around town, stuff like that. Yeah, on the dual carriageway, it's obviously not going to feel that quick. Not 60 on one of these. It's actually 11.2 seconds. But because it is so light, I'll put how much it weighs on the screen now because I don't know if that's off my head. But because it is so light, it doesn't need that much power. Like, this thing feels plenty fast enough. Now, one of the reasons why this car is so good as a first car is because it's so good on insurance. Now, because it only has 99 horsepower and it's so small, it's very safe as a five-star end cap safety rating. It's just the insurance companies love it, and they're such a common first car between these and the courses that, yeah, you will have no problem insuring this no matter who you are, where you are. It's just going to be cheap on insurance. Now, the next big thing is that these cars are so economical and so cheap to run. This car in particular is doing 42.7 mpg. Now, that is so good considering this car never ever goes on a motorway or dual carriageway it literally its whole life has just gone back and forth to the shops and 42.7 mpg that is actually very good because short journeys to the shop stop start traffic it's not the best to get the most mpg out of it but the fact it um the fact that it has got 42.7 mpg you just know that you can go miles on a tank of fuel on this thing and it's only got a smallish fuel tank as well so when you do run out and you fill it up it doesn't feel like it's hurting the bank too much because there's not hundreds of pounds coming out it probably will cost you about 55 pounds maybe to fill it up with all these fuel prices these days shooting up i don't know the exact figure but so like i said earlier this car feels very small on the road and when you're a learner driver or you're learning to drive or just looking to buy one of these cars that is also just a nice feeling because you know you know where it is on the road you know you don't feel big but you know you're safe because you know like i say the five star end cap safety rating just gives you that reassurance that you're safe and while we're here on a slight hill this car has hill start assist so basically what that means is you press the brake a little bit further in i don't even have to put the handbrake up as i little release off as you can see it didn't roll back there and it just sets off which is just another one of those little things that it's so easy to drive and yeah, just makes your life that little bit easier. So I'm going to let you guys in on a common fault with these Fiestas. Now, a couple of my mates have had this fault, and I think this one actually may have it as well. It's only a cheap fix, but what it is, is basically you'll hear it when you're going over a little speed bump or any little knock in the road, and it sounds like you're scraping the front nose along the floor, just like a little scrape as you like go over any bump and it's not you scraping the nose what it is i'm pretty sure is the bearings in either the suspension or the wheels or something as it goes over a bump they just as they slowly wear out they start to get a bit rough and you eventually need to replace them it's not an expensive fix like i say but just bear in mind if you can hear a noise like that don't be too alarmed you know it's so it's so common on a fiesta um and yeah it's a cheap fix quick acceleration test in first gear it really does pick up foot to the floor 50 55 60 70 and put it into fifth Fuck it. honestly i've gapped the people behind me mate the, these cars are they feel quick enough especially on the a road stuff like that they honestly feel quick enough 
and uh, yeah being at 70 miles an hour now on the dual carriageway on a very windy day as well if you guys know that there has been many storms the past couple of days and uh, yeah seeing on this dual carriageway now it doesn't feel like it's being blown around too much it feels very sturdy on the road which is also it's a nice thing to know, you know, you don't want to be in there and it's wallowing all over the place, you know, it feels very solid. So yeah, I want to run you guys through a few things that I really like about this car. And uh, one of them was, what you would have heard it just then, is the noise that this thing actually makes. Now, I'm pretty sure it doesn't go through the, through the speakers, but it genuinely just does sound really nice. Like, I really like the sound of it when you put your foot down. I'll show you guys when we exit this roundabout. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys will be able to hear that, but I just think this car sounds so, so good. Second gear. Lower it. Oh yeah, generally, oh yeah, it generally does just put you, put you back in your seat a bit. The old 99 horsepower engine does do bits, I'm not gonna lie. The next thing I'm not a particular fan of in these cars, and uh, I know it's not just this car, one of my mate's cars do this as well, I'm not sure about the other Fiesta, but is the brakes. Now the brakes, I explained this in my other Fiesta video that I made, but... Oh, a little bit of a, a squelch there from the tyres, but as I was saying, the brakes on these cars they're so on or off you can't brake smoothly in these cars like we can but you have to be so delicate you know if you're going at slower speeds st stopping without juddering or or whatever is so difficult because it's like you press your foot on the brake and it's quite a you have to press it quite firmly and then all of a sudden it just gives and then you're just like well now i'm braking way too hard and it's like it's one of those things the brakes don't feel that inclined for you to drive you know you couldn't be a chauffeur in this car let's say that now another very good thing about this car that 17 year olds will love is that these fiestas are so so customizable what the hell oh well that's good isn't it now that road's closed so what am i gonna do you tell me i have to go all the way back surely not Oh, you know what? We're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. People are going for it, so we're going to go for it. Why are so many roads closed today? Let's go. Let's ignore the road signs. Did you hear that little that little knock there when we went over that bump? It just sounded like it was scraping the floor. It's not. I'm pretty sure it's just the bearings, which is a cheap fix, like I say. Now, the reason this road might be closed may be because there was the big storm recently, and there may be a couple of trees and stuff on the road, which there is quite a lot of stuff on the road. But yeah, like I was saying, the Fiestas are so customizable. You can do so much to them and make them look like an ST. Like, you know, who I, I really like the ST. Who doesn't like an ST? Well, I think they're such good cars. I've never driven one myself, but um, I've always liked them, the STs. And I think it would be such a cool project car to eventually get on the, on the channel. This road is very nice, but not when there's loads of crap in it, like there is today. We're making it quite far though, so far, you know, it's not closed just yet. Oh, I see a thing. What's this thing? We're good, we're all good to keep going. No one's, you know, flashing or telling me to turn around, so. This is a very nice road. 
braking, downshifting, through the corner, clip the apex, running out wide, up into fifth. This is such a fun car to drive, honestly. Plenty of power. I mean, it could do a bit more power, but plenty of power for a 17 year old. We're looking good so far, lads. Oh, what's this up here? Oh, it's okay, it's just a man chopping a hedge. Okay, we're still looking good. so annoying if I get all this way whoa this might be what the road was closed for but we've made it through hopefully that was the reason it was closed because they were chopping logs and stuff yes I think it is we're making it through here yes I think we've made it lads I think that was the reason it would have been closed, but I think we're good. Thank God for that. But yeah, I'm gonna quickly do a section now where I'll just let you guys experience the car. I'm not gonna say anything, and uh, yeah. But yeah guys that is gonna be it for this video hopefully you've enjoyed hopefully you guys now know a bit more about the fiesta and uh yeah and maybe hopefully that has helped you decide whether you guys will pull the trigger on buying one or uh yeah i would 100 percent recommend this car for anyone really i mean they're just such good cars you can't really go wrong with a fiesta and yeah that is gonna be it for today leave a like and subscribe down below and also check out my instagram as well down below that'd be massively massively appreciated and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.